was on his way to becoming an assistance dog when a medical condition sidelined his career. However, he developed arthritis in his elbow, and that disqualified him from being uh, a working assistance dog. So the mayor adopted the yellow lab. He's now a regular fixture at One Government Center, attending press conferences, taking walks with city employees, and even enjoying curbside service at pickup time. But we wanted to know, who is he assisting them? Uh, he's not assisting anybody. He is with the mayor. He's the mayor's pet and companion. According to a statement from the department which oversees operations of One Government Center for the state of Ohio, the Ohio Building Authority has a policy prohibiting pets being brought into any of our facilities by tenants. An exception to this policy is made for an employee of any of our tenants requiring an animal to provide medical assistance. Since Cardi won't talk with us directly, we put our questions to the mayor's mouthpiece. But you admit that he has no medical condition to have this dog. No, the mayor has no medical condition that requires an assistance dog. Give mommy a leash. Come on, leash. Good girl. But so many others, like Shelly Papenfuse, rely on assistance dogs to improve their day-to-day -day lives. Sadie is basically my arms, my hands and my arms mm -hmm. for reaching things. I rely on her uh, for my safety and my well-being, and but mainly to help me live independently mm -hmm. um, in my own home. Papenfuse is a disability rights advocate and says Owning an assistance dog comes with responsibilities and rules outlined by the American with Disabilities Act. And it has to be under control by the owner, has to be on a leash, and basically has to, you know, behave. Yet we caught the mayor's assistant routinely walking scout. Security reports show the dog has gone to the bathroom inside the building and video cameras capture the mayor with scout off his leash. The Ohio Building Authority has scouts assistance uh, documentation on file. They recognize him as an assistance dog, and uh, they're aware of the scouts in the building and uh, seem to be okay with it. But we've learned in September, building management sent Mayor Finkbeiner this letter saying, I need documentation indicating that a health care professional has prescribed for you to have a therapy dog as part of a treatment plan. What type of treatment plan does the mayor need? I, I'm not familiar with that document. We took the issue of Scout's office visits to the taxpayers. Oh, no, no. That's inappropriate. That's inappropriate because hey, hey, can't nobody else do it. I don't think the mayor should have a dog, one that he would leave in his car in hot weather, especially parking in a handicapped spot. The mayor took so much flack over that one, he did a public service announcement about the dangers of leaving your pet in a hot car. I'm Mayor Curdy Finkbeiner. And this is my good friend, Scout. If you're still confused as to why the mayor takes his dog to work, so are we. But it might have more to do with the dog's health than the mayor's. The mayor brings him to work every day, uh, first of all and foremost, for Scout's well-being, because that's the way he's been trained, that's the way he's been brought up, that's the way he's been taught to think. And uh, for Scout's well-being, he has to be with the mayor majority of the time uh, in his day. Thank <laughs> you.